Yeah. Tuning, integrated engineering, software, power link, how to, step by step. Make it happen, Captain. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the garage. Uh, in this video, we're going to be covering how to do the uh, integrated engineering flashing software to flash your ECU with the new tunes. Um, we just did the stage two manifold on the Volkswagen 2.5 liter engine. Um, so if you haven't seen that video on the install of that, go ahead and check it out. I will leave links to all this in the description below. Um, other than that, stay tuned because we are going to go step by step on flashing the stage two software onto the ECU. Yeah gonna happen hey guys got a new merch store available with some hats shirts and other accessories so if you want to pick up some cool swag and support the channel go ahead and click that link in the description below so the first thing you're going to need to do is to hook up a charger to your car's battery and yes I said need please don't skip this you're gonna need for a wool to hurt if you do not hook this up to a charger um, if you end up losing power during part of the flashing process, you end up bricking your ECU. So that's going to end your day um, pretty badly. So hook it up. With the charger all hooked up, since you were smart enough not to skip that step, you can go ahead and hook the power link adapter into the OBD2 port. Uh, make sure you got a nice good connection on it and then make sure you've got the USB cord attached to the USB port on the back side of the power link adapter. All right, with your laptop powered on, go ahead and plug in that USB for the power link. Um, now you can go ahead and open the uh, Flash Wizard software from Integrated Engineering. This is the software you're going to be using. Um, if you haven't opened it in a while, when you first open it, it's probably going to do a firmware update, make sure everything's up to date for you, and then it'll bring you to the main menu. The main menu up, you can go ahead and click on Tune. This is going to bring you to a screen for pre-programming checks. First thing it's going to tell you is to plug that battery onto a charger, click next and then it's going to tell you to plug the dongle in which should already be plugged in, um, click next and then it's going to tell you to turn the car to the on position so go ahead and do that. It'll bring up a window, um, it's going to identify your ECU basically. Um, so if you do a push button start, um, just don't put your foot on the brake and that'll put it in the on position and then let it do its thing. So the software is going to pull all the information it needs from the ECU as well as the TCU for the transmission. And you can see that page there showing the current tune that's on it. Um, you can click the next button. This will bring a drop down for your engine and your transmission if available. Um, we're going to drop down the engine here. Click on the IE short runner intake manifold. Uh, we're going to click next once we have that selected. And this is going to be the tune that we're going to use for the manifold that we just installed in the previous video. Next page is going to have a little progress bar on it with a button that, to the right of that that says flash. And you can go ahead and click on the flash button. That will bring up a thing that tells you what the requirements are for this tune. Um, we have met these requirements so you can go ahead and click that button. And then you can click either one of these purchase buttons for purchase 100 credits. Um, this is the upgrade cost going from the stage one that I had on it previously. Um, to the stage 2 so you can go through there it'll bring up um, your browser and you can go through the process there to purchase your tune um, then you can go through the same process again when it brings you back to this um, it does take a moment for the credits to load so be patient just hit cancel out of that if it's saying purchase again um, so hit that flash button hit the car meets all requirements button and then it should pop up with your credits after a short moment um, so it's saying you have available credits, so go ahead and click purchase. And then it'll verify your purchase and it'll actually start downloading the tune and going through the process of flashing it to your ECU. So 
So the first thing it's going to do when it starts the process is going to be start erasing the old files. Um, don't be alarmed, it's got to erase the old files to write the new files. Um, so it's just going to kind of take you through its whole process here. Um, you will get to a couple of points during this process where you have to turn the ignition off and on again. Um, it'll actually, the screen will flash red and it'll come up with a prompt that you have to turn the ignition off and click OK and then turn it back on again and click OK. Um, so you have to do that a couple points throughout the tune. Um, I am playing this back in real time. Um, that way you guys kind of get a feel for how long this is actually going to take. Um, so this hasn't been sped up or slowed down at all. Um, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Just kind of hang out and uh, wait for the screen to start flashing at you like it is here. Um, go ahead and turn the ignition off. Click the ignition is off. Um, it's going to do its little process and then it'll tell you again to turn it back on. You can click turn it on and click ignition is on again um, and then continue to go um, so this is going to kind of just take you through the tune in real time that way you guys get a feel for how long it really takes
congratulations you've successfully flashed your car now go have some fun um, this is the end of the module so if you have anything to do like your transmission or anything you're gonna want to start the car stop the car turn it back on again and then go through the same process for doing like your transmission um, other than that you can exit out of the software go ahead and disconnect your battery from the battery charger get everything buttoned up under there um, and then you can fire up the car make sure everything's running right and uh, like the software said go have some fun so anyways that's about it enjoy some wraps thanks for watching hit that like button if you got any comments go ahead and leave them down below if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.